Um, like I, I was doing a gig up in uh, there's a comedy club up in, up in uh, what you call it Australian Bar on Parnell Street, Woolshed, and I was standing outside. This is a few months ago, <coughs> and I saw this couple walking up towards me. Now he looked dangerous, right? I knew this guy was trouble, but his girlfriend looked all right. And it kind of threw me. You see a lot of that, like complete fucking scumbags, and, and their girlfriends are gorgeous. I don't know. They actually look like they're their carers. <laughs> I don't know what these women see in these men. Maybe they know the apocalypse is about to come, and they need a guy that can get them shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get that from those fucking middle class. I don't middle class. What am I saying? I'm working class. That's it. Well, the old class. It's the same. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's funny how working class contains the highest percentage of people that don't work. <laughs> um, I don't even know where that came from. You never even knew what was going inside my bedroom until I was 35, for fuck's sake. Still living in my ma's. 46, that's embarrassing. Free gaff Tuesdays. <laughs> I'll get back to that anyway. <laughs> I just leave it alone with me ma, and I go about my business. <laughs> no, um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this couple were walking towards me, and it threw me because I thought, well, if this girl is well dressed and presentable, he's a grand. And next thing he put a syringe on me. I kind of want me to give him all his shit, so, all my shit, so, uh, oh, she didn't have any. Um, <laughs> And all of a sudden, you know, his girlfriend is really, oh my way, he's brilliant. <laughs> and when you have, when you're threatened with a syringe, you have to think very fucking quick. What do I do? Do I, do I just throw me wallet and me stuff at him? Well, you have a wallet. But you know what I mean? <laughs> do I just throw me shit at him and, and, and run and hope he doesn't catch up? Do I just run so I at least have me stuff and hope he doesn't... What do I fucking do here to, to not get fucking pricked by a syringe? And I had to think of my feet, and the only option left to me was I punched her in the face and <laughs> now, I'm not I'm not telling you that in a bragging kind of way. But you have to follow the logic of it. It was gonna cause the most amount of commotion on their side, leaving me free to escape. Some healthy residual psychological energy released for another day. 